Hey everyone, this is Justin from TechUnfolding.com and I'm going to be showing you guys the new Windows 7 Beta. Alright, so I'm going to start off here by showing you guys the new taskbar that has uh, been added to Windows 7. And as you can tell, it's it's a lot more, it's, it's a lot simpler and uh, more compact all your applications that might have multiple windows open get compressed into the symbol icons like uh, I have multiple windows now right now open in IE8 and you get a, a little display of each and then when you bring your cursor over top of each of these websites that you have open you get a preview of it on the screen in full uh, another feature is if you have uh, Windows Media Player playing, you can actually play the clip within the the preview itself, and you can view any other of your applications that you have open. Also, you, there's a, a rearranging if you want to rearrange any of these. You, they're really easy to do. Just drag and move. And also, if say if you have uh, one of these windows open, and you want to resize it to any of the, to say half the page or full screen, this can simply be done by dragging it over to the side, which automatically gives you half of the screen. Or if you want to adjust it to uh, be full. If you want to make say this window to be full screen, you drag it to the top. It shows you a little preview there, and that's it. And it does it automatically and resizes it. So that's uh, another great feature that has been added to uh, Windows 7. Also, when you have multiple windows open, say like this, and you want to see what you have in the background behind these windows, you just simply over here in the bottom right bring your cursor over top of this and it gives you a transparent look at your background. Another uh, what you might have noticed is the style. What I'm going to be showing you now is the themes that can be applied to Windows 7 and how uh, quick they can be applied as well without uh, any um, sort of delay like XP and Vista would use to change the theme, color, or anything such like that. So, um, first of all, there's a bunch of preset themes that come enabled, and more can be downloaded online. So, just simply using these presets, say I like this one, just simply one click will change it all, the whole desktop and everything, the color, right to what that theme, that theme is. I will click on another one here just to show you. Changing the background, changing the the taskbar at the bottom, changing the sounds and everything. But say if I I like this current theme that I have, but I want to modify it myself. Well, this can be done simply just down here on the bottom bar, up underneath this theme panel. You just if you want to change the desktop background, just click that, and you have a bunch of pre-installed background pictures that can be applied or you can browse and select one from your library. Also what can be changed is the the color of your your bars, your taskbar and everything like that just simply by either clicking a preset and then changing the intensity of the color or by going into the color mixer and making one by yourself. Uh, one of the other things you can change is the sounds. You can either change the sounds, change which way they say Windows starts up or sounds with errors and stuff like that. And uh, lastly is uh, the screensaver. This can be easily changed just by there. So yeah, this is a quick look at the themes and how easily it can be changed and how simple they have put it all together without having to go too far to control panel or anything like that to change any of these settings that would be done previously 
in Vista or XP. Alright, so I'm just going to be going over some of the other little features that have been uh, added to uh, Windows 7 and I'm going to start off by looking at at Paint and uh, how it's changed and gotten an update on look and also features so uh, as you can see it has that uh, Office 2008 look in it which uh, makes it a lot simpler and more easy to use and uh, they've also allowed uh, more features to be uh, added into uh, Paint as well giving it uh, more use than what a regular with the regular paint in either Vista XP or even before has had because it really has never had a, a decent update to it alright so uh, I'm also going to be showing you uh, WordPad WordPad here this, uh, this is also uh, been updated for the first time in a long time. It um, has basic word functions in it. Um, no spell check, but you can do your basic typing on here, add pictures and stuff like that. Just also giving it that Office 2008 look, but it's simple and really easy to use.